Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video despite being another unboxing video it is kind of different than my usual unboxing videos because I'll be unboxing a, like at least two cameras in here um, yeah two from a reputable kind of uh, secondhand camera dealer and usually I would actually just buy from like a private seller but in this video I bought my cameras from MPB and even though I'm not sponsored by them, I would like to actually still explain why sometimes it's also good to look at, you know, more official sellers. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So before I start cutting the tapes of this box or unsealing it, I would like to actually shortly explain that I'm not sponsored by them and this is not my first time buying from them. It's actually also like, um, lately a lot of secondhand cameras has been more expensive than uh, kind of like the usual secondhand prices. And I guess a lot of people are also just trying to get into you know, use camera markets and just see what they can get, things like that. And also, um, yeah, just experience the older cameras and also experience the older but also unique look of the older digital cameras even. And sure, price are rising and everything, but where they're not really generally rising are in the, um, you know, like in those shops where they're actually more official, giving you guarantee, things like that, because they are still kind of, living to their camera shop market prices, which means that the prices are usually lower than some of the more expensive older cameras from private sellers, if that makes sense. So the two cameras that I have in here are the D70S and also the D9Z. And the, uh, oh, by the way, after unsealing the um, tape, it's actually very well packaged and everything is paper usually. So that's actually also good. And also even their kind of like bubble wrap is actually paper kind of um, bubble wrap that's also very soft. I'm actually surprised, usually they give you a much nicer box inside this box, but yeah, this time it's like this. But yeah, I was saying like um, the D90, at least here where I live, uh, is now getting between 170 to around 270 euros depending on the condition. And if you're actually buying it with like, you know, original boxed and everything, then it's definitely over 300 euros. And in my opinion, that's actually very expensive. And I just got mine for around 90 euros on MPB. And to be honest, that seems to be more of a fair price. But let's see which is which here. Um, and yeah, like if you're in Europe, you can definitely have better deals from MPB, I think, than if you were to be in like other parts of the world, like outside Europe, simply because their warehouse is, well, one of their warehouses is in Germany. For example, this is shipped from Germany to the Netherlands, and you also get a nice track and trace number with it. And the shipping is also very decent. So yeah, this is the D90. Oh, we were just talking about it, and it's the D90, and it's quite nicely wrapped. Okay. Here's the plastic bit and the elastic band. Ha ha ha. Okay, putting that there. And this is supposed to be a very heavily used condition um, kind of uh, label. So let's see how heavily used it is. Wow, this is actually pretty good. I'm sorry for the siren, I just live next to the main street. So you see, like you hear all the sirens every like 15 minutes and that's annoying. And wow, like there are actually no scratches at the very bottom of the camera. And I'm just very surprised, like, wow. This is a heavily used condition to them. There are minor scratches that you don't really see once you turn on the screen, like, well, scratches on the screen. And um, this part of the rubber is, a little bit bumpy like you can see that because of the age you might need to just to put like glue there and it will just hold but apart from that this is pretty good and again this was marked as heavily used and that's why the price was down to 90 euros versus like 110 euros or 120 for like you know good to excellence kind of quality um but yeah this all the buttons feels really nice and yeah it's pretty good 
but that's also the thing with uh, a lot of more reputable stores that are selling oh these are the battery uh, straps and um, battery chargers and with like the more reputable companies they tend to have their conservative ratings so uh, if you're one of those people who like really mint condition stuff then you know the these kind of retail stores these kind of stores will tend to have really nice conditions for you know low price if you're just looking for nice conditions uh generally speaking um but yeah this should be the d70s and you know this was around like 28 euros when i bought it and um again like if looking at the uh, secondhand market here where I live, it usually sells between um, 45 to like 70 euros, which is kind of getting very expensive. Considering just like a few years ago, you can probably get this for like 20 euros or even 15 euros. So it's definitely increasing in price. And that's also like back to the reason when I was talking about the beginning, like why it's also good to look at some of the cameras and you might find it even cheaper on uh, the second hand sites but this one is also rated as heavily used and this is definitely very heavily used because well first of all the grip is very 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 sticky like there's some sort of residue on there from duct tape and uh, yeah on this side um, this rubber port is missing and the top rubber port or flap can't really be closed properly so I guess this was in a much worse condition but yeah otherwise everything seems to be pressing just fine it's just very very annoying with this and I just have to somehow find my way to clean all the residue off. Hello and here's David from the future. Don't freak out, it's just me with a different haircut and also just finished cleaning the D70S and I would actually like to share the technique how I clean all the camera residue, like all the sticky nasty residues, whether it's like from old rubber or old kind of material that sometimes leave very sticky residue or just like if something has been duct taped for a very very long time and you just pull it out and all the residue melted is just all very glue and nasty. In this case, I actually use just a simple nail polish remover or any rubbing alcohol will actually help. So um, actually by just having a simple cotton like this and also just pour it down on your cotton, well, pour the uh, polish down or the um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol <laughs> down, you just actually have to kind of just gently wipe and then yeah, it will slowly get rid of all the residues and everything. So yeah, but one thing to actually watch out, especially if you're using or polishing the old cameras is because they tend to have like really weak prints on there, especially if you're using Nikon cameras. Nikon cameras, in my opinion, they have like the weakest um, ink, like printing marks on the camera. So I accidentally actually erased the on and off uh, sign up here. And also when I was kind of rubbing through the camera I nearly uh, got rid of the um, mode symbols like the M the A's and everything here are all just kind of smooshed up I just realized like oh okay it was almost too late because I was just about to apply my like little bit of pressure just to get rid of that extra residue on here as well and yeah before I know it I already kind of like smudged the M and the A and the S so yeah if imagine if all of the symbols just be gone that would just be very inconvenient but uh, yeah I managed to stop in time and also just to kind of let you know that many of the uh, prints on the cameras they're, they're technically from ink anyway so uh, be careful with the nail polish like nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol if you have it and uh, yeah otherwise it's actually a really great technique to actually remove all the uh, old residues and right now the camera feels perfectly fine it actually feels very polished of course but yeah it doesn't feel old anymore it just felt like you know it just came out straight out of the box despite all the uh, scars the scuffs the scratches and everything but yeah that's pretty much just a short uh, kind of trick so yeah back into the video I wonder what the previous owner did with this but yeah there's that and also all the accessories and everything is uh, well in this bag 
so yeah, um, that is just like one of the experience you get from buying secondhand cameras from uh, MPB or similar sites like this. So yeah, in conclusion, I still look at private sellers and still do buy camera or camera equipment from them. But in the same time, I also still look around at other camera retail stores, like online especially, if I can also get a good deal on there. Because for example, um, some online stores randomly sometimes just throw 10% off on all of their secondhand products or some camera stores will also have this kind of like oh no tax week so you don't have to pay extra for the tax on top of the secondhand product so that's also good or sometimes you get extra extra service on top of that which can also be good and when you buy from those stores you also get more like warranty with it so whether it's only a month or three months or six months or sometimes very rare actually one year unless if it's refurbished and that's usually between six months to a year normally anyway so yeah you will get some sort of better deals anyway sometimes but of course there will be a lot of times where you will find good deals with private sellers but in the same time, especially with the D90 that I just mentioned that, you know, the price here is slowly going up between 170 euros to 270 euros. And that's usually in the normal condition. Whereas, you know, some online stores that are reputable and also more official that gives you warranty are still selling it at around between 90 euros to around 110 euros. Of course, depending on the part of the world, you will be able to find it much cheaper than this. It's just that for some reason a lot of people are really looking at this camera in the region where I live that the price for those cameras are going up so that's another reason why I actually bought this camera from MPB again I'm not sponsored by them but at least I hope that you can actually get something from this video why um, you know it might still be nice or good to look at these kind of retail well online retail stores but yeah if you need a free photography guidebook it's absolutely for free on my website the link is down in the description section below oh my god I can't talk anymore but you can actually click the link down in the description section below and yeah just click and download on my website for the free photography guidebook and you don't need to submit your email address nothing just click and download and I will not bombard you with any newsletter nonsense if you have any questions or any suggestions feel free to also comment down in the comment section down below and I will make Make sure to get to it as soon as possible otherwise thank you very much for watching stay safe have fun shooting till next time bye for now